And joining us right now for an exclusive interview is the chairman of luxury hotel group Rocco Forte Hotels and the Catholic Herald co-owner Rocco Forte. Great to see you, Rocco. Thanks very much for joining us. Great to be here. As we get into your business, which continues to expand uh, now in Italy, your, your thoughts on what's taking place on the world stage. We've got the G20 happening here, trade a big issue for many of these leaders. Uh, and of course, you also have Britain exiting the European Union. Well, uh, exiting is the wrong word at the moment. If, uh, if this deal uh, goes through, it's a complete disaster yes. for Britain, effectively. Um, Britain is putting itself in jail, handing the key to the European Union and saying to the European Union, you decide when we leave and on what terms. 95% of businesses in the UK are not involved in trading with Europe. Only 5%. Yeah, 95%. Only 5% of GDP is involved in cross-border trade. We 55% of our trade is with the rest of the world, and we have no trouble at borders and customs and queues of lorries and all the sort of scaremongering that's been going on about what will happen if we leave the European Union without a deal. Uh, we trade under WTO rules with the rest of the world. There's no reason why we shouldn't do that with the European Union. So what do you want to see? What kind of a deal do you want to see then for Britain? Well, I'd like to see a free trade, uh, a free trade deal. But, uh, but this, this, what's, what's happening now is effectively tying ourselves to the European Union potentially forever. Uh, and, and, and this is completely unacceptable. It's worse than Munich. You, you have 11 luxury hotels and resorts in Europe, the Middle East, soon in Shanghai as well. Uh, this is a longtime family business running four generations strong. Congratulations on the success of it. What do you want to see out of perhaps a deal with China? Are you, are you watching what's happening in the G20 between President Trump and these business leaders and its impact on things like your hotel business? Well, I, you know, at the, at, at the end of the day, people have traveled uh, around the world, uh, across the world, for, uh, for, for, many, for many years. And I don't, I don't think that's going to stop because there's some disagreement. Uh, uh, there's the some reason China and the United States. Uh, for example, uh, I have a hotel in St. Petersburg. And that's never been so successful as it is today. We had an increase of American visitors to, to the hotel uh, this year and British visitors, despite all the shenanigans that are going on. St. Petersburg is so beautiful. Mm. Which of the countries that you're in, I notice you're opening a hotel in Puglia and Sicilia, so we can yeah. go there. The, <laughs> which, which countries look weak economically to you? Or which weak, country look weak to you economically which ones are stronger versus which ones are weaker in all the countries in which you do business well um, the the uh, generally the, uh, the 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 countries of continental europe with the exception of germany have weak economies they have high levels of unemployment because of the system that they operate under it makes it very difficult to business to be uh, to be uh, to operate, uh, labor laws make it uh, impossible to dismiss anybody. Uh, uh, corporate taxes are very high. Uh, labor on costs are 45 to 55 percent of, uh, uh, of, of, of wage costs. So it, it's not an easy continent to operate on in compared to, to compared to the UK and the United States. Uh, and that's what worries me about uh, staying closely tied to Europe, is gradually all that uncompetitiveness will come, will come to the UK. Right. That's right. That is the worry. Real quick before you go, Rocco, you also own the Catholic Herald. You're bringing it now to the United States. Why did you decide to bring it? What are your expectations here about the Catholic Herald? Tell us about it. Well, the, 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 in, in the UK, there are 5 million Catholics. In the United States, there are 80, 80 million. <laughs> wow. Uh, the, uh, the Catholic Herald has been going for 130 years uh, in, in the UK, and there's no uh, national Catholic weekly magazine in the United States. So we think it's a very good opportunity, and at this moment the uh, church is in a bit of a disarray in, the, in America. Uh, so we're going to be a conservative magazine, uh, which is going to be, uh, be very um, um, open uh, in, in its discussion of the issues. Uh, and, uh, and, and I think would be very interesting for, for serious Catholics, uh, intelligent Catholics who care, uh, who care about their faith. And your first forte into media, so uh, well, congrats on that. Yeah, Rocco, it's great to have you on the program. Thanks so thank, much. Thank you very much. Sir Rocco Forte joining us there.